Determine the components AX and AY for the vector A whose magnitude and direction are given by A equals 3.5 meters and angle theta equals 66 degrees respectively. In physics, numbers can represent many quantities. For example, meron tayong numerical value. Kapag nilagyan natin siya ng appropriate unit, pwede na niyang specify, for example, ang isang volume, temperature, time of an event, or the distance. So, in physics, a number with units is referred to as a scalar. Scalar is a number with units and it can be positive, negative, or zero. But sometimes, however, a scalar isn't enough to adequately describe a physical quantity. In a lot of cases, kinakailangan natin ng direction. For example, we are walking on an unfamiliar road and kailangan natin pumunta sa library. Of course, we need direction. Kung ang alam lang natin na information about the library is yung distance niya, say for example, we have half mile, hindi natin alam kung saan direction at hindi natin alam kung saan location. Alam lang natin is yung layo nung library. Now, in this figure, to pin down the location of the library, kailangan natin ng complete information like the library is half mile northwest of here. Parang ganun. And with both a distance and a direction, malalaman natin yung exact location ng library. So, in this figure, ang location ng library is eto. Half mile northwest from this point. The arrow points in the direction traveled and yun yung magnitude natin, yung half mile na tinatawag, yung 0.5. This is the magnitude in this case and it represents the distance covered. In general, yung quantity that is specified by both a magnitude and a direction is represented by a vector. Vector is a mathematical quantity with both a magnitude and a direction. And to indicate a vector with a written symbol, gumagamit tayo ng bold face for the vector itself with a small arrow above to remind us na siya ay vector. And gumagamit tayo ng italics to indicate na siya ay magnitude. For example, makikita natin itong R na to. Uh, isa to sa mga symbols ng vector. But in handwriting, it is common to draw a small arrow over the vector symbol. We now define the components of vectors. In general, para mahanap natin yung components of a vector, we need to set up a coordinate system and in two dimensions, we choose an origin O and a positive direction for both the X and Y axis na makikita natin in this figure. Kung yung system natin is three-dimensional, we would also indicate a Z axis. How to convert the magnitude and angle to components? So we look at this figure Say, this arrow is the R. Paano natin malalaman yung components ng R na yan? We have Rx for the x-axis and Ry for the y-axis as the horizontal and vertical component. We can find the Rx in yung Ry na yan, tinatawag as the scalar components ng vector R. Ito. Say, the value of R natin is equal to 1.1 meters. And it has an angle of 25 degrees. To solve for the components, or para mag-convert natin yung magnitude and angle to components, we use the standard trigonometric relationships. For Rx, we use R, and since x-axis yan, horizontal component, we use cosine 25 degrees. We have 1.1 meters times cosine 25 is equal to 0 0.906 and the value of the horizontal component of the R now is equal to 0 0.997 meters. For the vertical component naman, this is R sine 25 degrees and we have 1.10 meters times sine 25 is equal to 0 0.423 and this is equal to 0 0.465 meters. Yung Rx and R1 na yan is nandito from here. Ito yan. This is the Ry and this is the Rx. Sometimes, 
we are given the components of a vector given sa atin yung rx and ry and from them, you would like to find the corresponding magnitude and direction, vice versa naman. So, how we convert the components to magnitude and direction? Given the magnitude and direction of a vector, to find the components, we will use the trigonometry ulit. Okay? In this figure, we have the vector A. Ito, yung kanina pa natin na ginawa. Itong part na to, to find the components using the magnitude and the angle. Now, to find the magnitude and direction naman, given the components, ito yung ating gagamitin. This is the magnitude and this is the direction. So, for the magnitude, say A, ito, vector A, we use the Pythagorean theorem. And say, ang gagamitin na lang natin is this one and this one as AX and AY. So, we have AX square plus AY square. Substituting the values, this is a vector A. Square root of ang x natin is 0 0.997 meters square plus ay natin is 0 0.465 meters square then quantity square and masasolve na natin yung magnitude and this is equal to 1.10 meters nga. And for the direction naman, directly pwede na natin itong gamitin yung tangent function. So, that's how we convert the components to magnitude and direction. Example number 1. Determine the components AX and AY for the vector A whose magnitude and direction are given by A equals 3.5 meters and angle theta equals 66 degrees respectively. We solve first for the AX, the horizontal component of the vector A. AX is equal to, we have 3.5 meters cosine. Ang angle natin is 66 degrees. So by calculating, AX is equal to 1.4 meters. And for AY naman, the vertical component of vector A, this is again 3.5 meters sine 66 degrees. By calculating, AY is equal to 3.2 meters. So these are the components of vector a given magnitude and direction. Example number 2. Determine the magnitude B and angle theta for the vector B with components BX as 75.5 meters and BY as 6.2 meters. To so solve for the magnitude, again, trigonometry ang gagamitin natin. So this is square root of BX square plus BY square. Substituting the numerical values, we have Bx as 75.5 meters quantity square plus 6.2 meters quantity square. Calculating, magnitude is equal to 75.8 meters. For the direction naman, angle, we will use the tangent function, inverse tangent of 6.2 meters over 75.5 meters. So, para mas clear, ito lang yan. This is the B. Ito yung BX. And ito yung BY. And ito yung angle theta. Para masolve yung angle theta, we use tangent opposite adjacent. So, ito lang sila. And by calculating, angle theta is equal to 4. 69 degrees. So we solve the magnitude in the direction given the vertical and horizontal components of the vector B. How do we determine the correct signs for the x and y components of a vector? So this is done by considering the right triangle formed by the horizontal component AX, vertical component AY, and the vector A shown in this figure. Para malaman natin yung sign of the Horizontal component AX is magsa-start tayo dun sa tail of the vector and move along to the x-axis toward the right angle. Ito yung right angle na yan. And ito nga siya, nag-move siya to the right. Nag-start dun sa tail ng vector natin. Ito yung kanyang head. So, nag-move siyang ganun. And ganun din sa vertical component AY. Nag-start siya dito, papaganon. 
if you are moving in the positive x direction, ibig sabihin, yung ax is positive and greater than 0. If you are moving on the negative x direction naman, naging pa ganyan, ibig sabihin, negative yung x component less than 0. For the y component, magsa-start naman tayo dun sa right angle and move toward to the tip of the arrow. Nag-start tayo dito. From the right angle hanggang dun sa tip ng arrow, yung ay natin is positive or negative. Nakadepende on whether you are moving in the positive or negative y direction. As we study the physics, it is important to be able to find the components of a vector and to assign to them the correct signs. Example number 3. The vector A is a magnitude of 9.75 meters. So find its components for direction angles theta 7.25 degrees. So this is just a conversion of magnitude and angle to the components of the vector. So we have the magnitude and the direction. For AX, this is 9.75 meters cosine 7.25 degrees. And AX now is equal to 9.67 meters. For AY naman, we have 9.75 meters sine 7.25 degrees. And ang value niya ngayon is 1.23 meters. So this is the components for the vector A natin. Next, Another problem, but same magnitude, iba naman yung angle dito. We have given a 115 degrees. To solve for that, same process ang gagawin natin, 9.75 meters cosine 115 degrees. And the value of AX now, we're calculating, is equal to negative 4.12 meters. So nakikita na natin yung sign ng ating vectors and for the horizontal component of the vector, we have negative component and we have negative 4.12. Sa AY naman, 9.75 meters, sine 115 degrees, and the AY now is equal to positive 8.84 meters. We have negative component, horizontal component AX, and positive y component. Example number 5, same magnitude ulit but the angle now is 235 degrees. So solving for the AX, we have 9.75 meters cosine 235 degrees. AX is equal to negative 5.59 meters. For AY, we have 9.75 meters sine 235 degrees. And AY now is equal to it's negative 7.99 meters. Pareho silang negative. And lastly, for example number 6, same magnitude ulit, but ang angle naman natin now is 355 degrees. So for AX, 9.75 meters cosine 355 degrees. Value of AX is equal to positive 9.71 meters. For AY naman, we have 9.75 meters sine 355 degrees. The value of AY is equal to negative 0.85 meters. Now, kung idodraw natin yan sa graph or kung igagraph natin siya, magsa-start tayo sa AX which is positive. We have, see, this is the 9.71 meters and ito yung ating AX. For the AY naman, again, magsa-start naman tayo dun sa right angle niya. And we have negative. So, pababa. Say, eto siya. This is the right angle. Eto yung AY na negative. And eto yung ating vector A. 
And of course, ang given sa atin na angle is 355 degrees. Magsa-start yung angle dito, papunta dito, and this is the angle 355 degrees. So this is how we determine the sine of vector components.